They just play the long game. We're the result of it. This is the second game I played back to back where the whole message was like, one group will literally sacrifice themselves in the idea of hope so that another group will have a chance. Because, like, think about it, the whole point of Horizon Forbidden West was that our humans sacrifice ourselves if Zero Dawn would work and there'd be a second chance of life on Earth. This one, the Protheans sacrificed themselves for a chance that someone else would even possibly work against the Reapers. They took the biggest gamble. those Protheans died just so there was a chance that someone else would be able to figure it out and none of them actually know if it paid off which is even worse I genuinely feel bad for them If only because there was no way they could have known if it was even going to be worth it. For lack of better term, they were just shooting into the, into the dark. All that was luck. Figuring out the keepers were part of the conduit. Figuring out that the, con that the citadel was a uh, what's it called? A mass relay. Like all of that was dumb luck. That wasn't like nine D chess. That was someone got really dumb luck while being a scientist and followed a random ass fucking lead and hoped for the best. In my mind, that makes it far more impressive. Simply because, like, that's pretty much how it goes historically. Most things happen, not intentionally. It's usually very, very much by accident. And it's someone just being at the right place at the right time and having the right amount of intelligence. Putting two pieces together and realizing, oh shit, what the fuck? There, the conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. Cutscene? Cutscene.
We gotta hurry up. Hang on, things are going to get a little rough. There is no way you would have made it if we stayed to fight them all. So wait, we just got launched through the Mako. Critical failure was detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency oh. evacuation. Oh. That's cool. Not exactly how we intended to show up, but hey. We're back. <laughs> we have to stop Saren. Quickly, before it's too late. Detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. All right, let's go. Critical failure was detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. This is not a drill. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Killing the keepers because they didn't do what they were supposed to do. the Normandy though. Oh shit. Sovereign did not give a shit about the fleet. Take any bullshit, we're just gonna do it the old fashioned way. That's about right. Oh, thank god, my gay magnetic shoes. Alright, ladies. I have no 
no idea how they want me to do this. squad looking yeah not not we could uh we didn't max out Saren tried getting us though with those elevators holy crap Why are they so damn sturdy? I want to do uh, overload and stasis on them. That worked. I will gladly take that decision. That one's just floating off into space. Squad, how are we doing? Yeah, we're probably not going to max out level-wise. Looking, how we looking? This is very much one of those how we looking. Like what, what? Like we're not not like we're trying too hard, but you know we're not making it look effortless. Stasis overload. He was just running at a higher stance than I was. Death ships. Go. 
covered, keep it covered. We gotta keep going. Oh my god, that thing is huge. More Krogans, right? Um, let's do. Do sabotage and singularity. Very sick of these guys. How many geth does the fuck it have? Jeez. Weapon upgrade. Turn old um gel. Again, not yet. Almost. Okay. Let's go, let's go.
Tally. Let's go. Let's go. Get back up. Get back up. I think that was the reason why we needed a rocket launcher in this game. Those turrets would have been no problem if we had a rocket launcher. Granted, grenades probably would have did a lot better work than I did. Oh look, an access hatch. Saren is trying to take control of the Citadel. And we're gonna have to go stop him. As always. Got our meta gel. Move, move, move. Shot tally. You know, I love how the um, the scientist is actually doing pretty damn good in a gunfight. <laughs> Alright, we gotta stop him. We gotta stop this man. He's insane! Down below. I was afraid you wouldn't make it in time, Shepard. In time for what? The final confrontation. I think we both expected it would end like this. You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I can stop them. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you, too. You are fucking indoctrinated. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it. Not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... for... <laughs> The implants. 
Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. No, keep going. It's not over yet. You can still redeem yourself. Goodbye, Shepard. <clears throat> Thank you. What? What? I'm... We have to stop him before he brings back the Reapers. I'm... Ah... Uh... It can't, couldn't have been that easy. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. Are Do you it. sure about this, Shepard? Human casualties will be very high if you send your fleet in now. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. Oh. True. That's why you can't waste reinforcements trying to save the Council. You must hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Wait until those arms open, Joker. We need all our ships focusing on Sovereign, even if it means sacrificing the Council. A sacrifice for the greater good. I only pray it is not made in vain. All Alliance ships, home formation. Wait for a shot at Sovereign. Nothing else matters. I repeat, nothing else matters. I hope I made the right choice. Like, I really hope I made the right choice there. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Open a comm channel. This is the Ascension. We are taking heavy damage. Guardian defenses are over... Kinetic barriers are offline. Commander, they closed the channel. Again, I hope I made the right choice with that one. Make sure he's dead. I don't know if I made the right choice with that one. Probably could have saved him. I don't think he is. Oh shit. He's dead. Oh, you didn't see that one coming. Or that. Did he just explode? Oh, he's, no, he didn't explode. I thought he did. Oh, he's gone full husk. Ah. Yeah, you, you, you. 
face only a mother could love. Oh shit, he just did the jump. I out. am sovereign, and this station is mine. Uh, warp stasis and AI hacking. Stasis did not last long. Okay. Throw. Overload. Ready, go. So wait, hold on. Eh, okay, we didn't get to, that's, that's not awful. Focus on Sor Saren, I will take these two out. Uh, immunity, adrenaline burst, overkill unity, shield boost, barrier recharging. Okay. Got you, I got you. ships there. Oh shit. Sovereign's too strong. We have to pull back. Negative. This is our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost. Yeah, come on. Be human. We already lost the council. We should make sure that it wasn't in vain. Dampening and singularity. Fuck. Well, all of it's recharging. Can this man sit? Still, please. Lift. It Rech recharges what? All talents so they can be used immediately. Yes. Overload, Singularity. A 
safe. You too. Singularity overload. Again, I really, really hope what we do is the right thing. Oh shit. Go. <laughs> so the so did we lose the council probably? Stop the Reapers, so like, you know. Captain Anderson, we found him. They're in here. Anderson's alive? Oh, thank God. Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? Where's Shepard? Oh, 
Oh, we got your message, Ambassador. What's all this about? No need to get worked up, Captain. I'd like to end this meeting with all my teeth still in place. You should thank me for what I did. If the Normandy was still grounded, we'd all be dead right now. I understand, Captain. You did what you had to do. That's not why you're here. We need to talk about what happened to the Council. Commander Shepard did the right thing. We had to hold our fleet back to go after Sovereign. It was the only way. I agree, but this also presents us with an opportunity. The Citadel fleets were decimated in the attack. Their losses have made the Alliance stronger. They can't no. rebuild without us. We need to take the lead in forming a new council, one with a human chairman at its head. No. This wasn't some plan for the Alliance to seize power. Forcing the other races to accept our leadership is going to cause problems. The other species are scared. They've never faced anything like this before. They don't know what to do. They want us to step forward. Do they, though? They believe in us because of you, Shepard. You saved the galaxy from Sovereign. You're a symbol of everything good about humanity. Our courage. Our strength. The Ambassador's right. The other races look up to us now. They won't just accept our leadership. They'll welcome it. Still don't like Given it. Given everything you've done, Commander, the Alliance will want to know who you think our Council Chairman should be. Like it's fucking hard. We're about to go to war. We need someone with military experience. Someone like Captain Anderson. You make a good case. Captain, are you ready for this? I don't know if any of us are ready for this. But I'll do what I can. So what happens now? The Reapers are still out there. They're coming. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. <laughs> you don't get to, you don't get to see Udina. Fuck you. Political dick. Shepard's right. We're headed for war with the Reapers. If we lose, it's the end of all life as we know it. We have to show the rest of the galaxy what it takes to survive. With the support of the other races, we can win this battle. With them behind us, we can stand against the Reaper's return and drive them back into dark space. Sucks that we lost the council, though. Not because I liked them. I think the council sucked. But I don't think humanity should have been taking over. We are not ready. Credits? Maybe? Yep, credits. So hey, we finished one of them. I... Uh, I mean what I said, I don't think humanity should have gotten the council seat. If anything, just because we... I don't know. And I only picked Anderson because... One, he proved himself in the end. Two, I don't like Udina. And three, as she said, we are heading to a war with the Reapers. If it wasn't a war situation, I would have picked a politician. So yeah, while this runs, I'm gonna quickly uh, run to the bathroom with the credits play. BRB.
I guess that means next week we will start uh, Mass Effect 2. Which is cool because I thought this game was going to be a lot longer. This looks like it was only, hold on, like 32 hours, give or take? That's not bad. Yeah, next week we'll do, um, what's it called? We'll start Mass Effect 2 next week, and shit, who knows how long that game will be. <laughs> we did romance the Yara, so we got, a, we got a relationship in the next game. Apparently Mass Effect 2 is anywhere between 24 to 35 hours. Checking to make sure that's the same thing. Okay, here we go. Um, Mass Effect 2 with DLC 33 to 45 hours. That's not bad. And Mass Effect 3 is anywhere between 40 and 50 hours. That's not bad for all three games. So, yeah, it shouldn't take us that long to do all three of these games. And then we can do Andromeda, if like, my computer lets me. <laughs> oh, wait. Why is my webcam being here? That's why. I forgot that when I restarted my computer, my webcam reset. That was the problem. My bad. Uh, let's see. How long is it? Well, it's only four years after the third game. No, wait, hold on. Uh, Apparently, oh shit, Andromeda's only 30 hours long. Shit. Unless you want to do 100%, then it's a lot longer. Okay. So the main story is only 25, 30 hours, but if I do everything, it'd be 80 to 100. Damn. So Andromeda could be as long as Horizon Forbidden West for me, if I want to do everything. Fucking hell. We will see. I'm not going to commit to all 100%ing of Andromeda, as it's an open world game, which could mean a lot. Apparently I could have saved the council, I didn't think there was a way to do it, but we would have took more casualties. Oops. 
in the grand scheme, I'm like, <sighs> Sovereign's a threat. I'm not saying that they can't defend themselves, but like, those three kind of sucked. They were mean to me. <laughs> no, it was really like a last minute decision. I'm like, I don't know what the answer is. For all I know, I was making all the wrong choices. And I just don't want Udina to make an all human council. Because that would be awful. It's kind of weird they have no sound for the credits anymore. Weird. Try to think. Oh, my Fridays will be back because apparently the D&D game I was guesting in is on an indefinite hiatus. So, not this week because I want to spend tomorrow doing other things. Um, starting next Friday, we'll be back to five-day-a-week streaming. Um, Wednesday will, will remain D&D provided we have those, you know. Monday, Tuesday, what, I mean, Thursday, and Friday will be whatever I plan. I am hoping, hoping that either Monday or Tuesday will be a homebrew D&D &D game soon or something, I don't know. In the grand scheme, I'm hoping that, like, I'll have three D&D &D games going, two or three during the week, one during on the weekend or something, I don't know. I want to do my homebrew and Star Wars on top of my um, Final Fantasy because I'm a glutton for punishment. But no, I just like playing the games. Oh, those are short credits. Fuck. I expected those to be a lot longer. Excuse me. <laughs> 